Hello everybody, you'll be learning about the solar system. So first of all, let's talk about how the solar system was formed. There is this theory that states that that universe was once an extremely dense point. It suddenly and rapidly inflated into the universe we see today, creating all matter and energy during the inflation. The matter would eventually form stars, planets, and other celestial objects. This is much the case with our solar system. Matter eventually accumulated and ignited to create our sun. The leftover particles formed a disk around our sun and eventually turned into everything in our solar system. The eight planets of our solar system are divided into two groups, terrestrial and gaseous. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are terrestrial planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus are gaseous planets. These two groups are separated by the Astro Belt. Around these planets are the Kuiper Belt, which contains minor planets such as Pluto and the Oort Cloud, respectively. The Sun is at the center of our solar system, where everything orbits around. Sun The Sun is a medium-mass star, composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. It is essential to life on Earth. It first shone 5 billion years ago and will shine another 5 billion more. It emits all sorts of radiation. The solar flares and solar winds also affect much of the solar system. Mercury Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the sun and has no atmosphere due to the effects of the solar winds. Therefore, it is bombarded by asteroids and comets. Its surface is also similar to our moon and has phases like the moon. The temperatures vary from 400 degrees Celsius on the side of light to 180 degrees Celsius on the dark side due to its lack of an atmosphere. It has no moons. Venus Venus is the second planet closest to the sun and is often called Earth's twin due to its similarity to Earth in diameter, mass, and gravity. Venus's orbit around the sun is shorter than Venus's rotation on its axis. Temperatures may exceed 450 degrees Celsius due to the greenhouse effect of the clouds made of carbon dioxide. Atmospheric pressures are 92 times that of Earth. These hostile situations make exploring the surface with the probes for a length of time difficult. Venus is also one of the two planets that rotate east to west. It also has no moons. Earth Earth is the third planet from the sun and is the only known planet that supports life and has water in all three states, covering 70% of the planet's surface. It has distinct seasons due to its 23.5 degree tilt. It is protected by an atmosphere, an ozone layer, and a magnetic field. The particles from the solar wind colliding with the magnetic field create the auroras. Moon. The Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. It was said to be formed during the formation of the planets when Earth was struck by a planetary sized object. The matter ejected from Earth as well as matter from the object became the Moon. It is similar to Mercury in that it lacks an atmosphere. Erosion also does not occur on the Moon, leaving marks and imprints on the surface intact. The Moon is also responsible for the tides on Earth. Mars. Mars is the fourth closest planet and is known as the red planet due to the iron oxide on its surface which gives it a reddish hue. It has a thin atmosphere and surface features similar to the craters on the on the moon on the moon and the and volcanoes, valleys, deserts and polar ice caps of Earth. Its average surface temperature is extremely cold. It is speculated that life exists or once existed on Mars with probes and, and satellites sent to, to study and examine Mars. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Asteroid Belt The asteroid belt is a ring of rocky debris of all sizes that is located between Mars and Jupiter. These rocky debris or asteroids are composed of varying material, with some made of silicate material to metals. The gravity of Jupiter is said to have prevented the asteroids from gathering into a hypothetical planet. Jupiter. Beyond the asteroid belt is Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. It is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, and if it were just ten times larger, it would have formed a star. 
The surface of Jupiter contains bands of variously colored clouds parallel to Jupiter's equator. It contains a storm called the Great Red Spot in its atmosphere, and it is the size of three Earths. It never moves north or south. Jupiter has three very thin rings, as well as the most moons out of all the planets in the solar system. Saturn. After, after Jupiter is Saturn, the second largest planet, it, ha it has the most extensive ring system in the solar system. With over a thousand rings composed of ice and debris, it is similar to Jupiter in composition, and mainly that is, and mainly in that it is mainly made up of hydrogen and helium. Uranus. Uranus is after Saturn, and it's the third largest planet. It is unique because its axis of rotation is tilted towards the plane of its orbit. It, it also rotates east to west, unlike the other planets. The methane in its atmosphere gives it a bluish color. Uranus is also similar to the other gaseous planets in composition. It too also has rings around it, having nine. Neptune. The last planet in the solar system is Neptune. The blue color of its atmosphere is also caused by methane, similar to Uranus. It has the fastest wind speeds out of all the planets. It also has a cyclonic storm called the Great Dark Spot. Neptune is similar to the other gaseous planets in composition, as well as having a ring system. Past the planets is the Cuba Belt, a disc-shaped region about 30 to 50 astronomical units away from the Sun that contains remnants of the formation of the solar system. It is similar to the asteroid belt, only larger, and the objects inside the belt are composed of frozen volatiles such as ammonia and methane. The belt is also home to dwarf planets. Oak cloud. Surrounding the solar system is a hypothesized vast spherical shell of comets, which are made of ice and dust, called the Oort Cloud, and it too contains remnants of the formation of the solar system. It is said to compose of 100 billion to 2 trillion icy bodies.